Okay, not going to spend long on it because it's it's just now happening. Auburn. <laughs> okay, here's the source uh, from Sports Illustrated. Uh, Hugh Freeze is back in the SEC. It looks like Auburn is going to hire Hugh Freeze as their head football coach. Uh, Ross Dellinger is reporting it along with a ton of other sources here, but... Yeah, Auburn's winding search for head coach ended with the hiring of uh, Hugh Freeze on Monday. Uh, the Liberty coach, who, uh, while holding an impressive on-field record, was fired in 2017 at Ole Miss amid NCAA and personal scandal, a source told Sports Illustrated. Uh, this is very interesting. I I did not believe that this was going to happen because John Cohen, as the AD, was on the other side of that Ole Miss-Mississippi State rivalry. Remember, Cohen was at Mississippi State while Freeze was at Ole Miss. That rivalry was putrid. It was festering. It was disgusting. It was pure, unbridled hatred with zero respect. Cohen was at Mississippi State when they were digging up NCAA dirt on Hugh Freeze, and now he's hiring him to be the head coach. What this tells me is that Cohen did not make this hire. Cohen does not have, he is not running his own ship in that athletic department, and you can tell it already. There is nothing that has changed at Auburn at all. I mean, it's so, so strange. Uh, but either way, here's here's what went on. It said Auburn's courtship of Freeze while weeks old narrowed over the past few days. The program targeted Ole Miss coach Lane Kiffin before shifting to Freeze on Friday. Cohen interviewed several candidates and vetted more than 20 before whittling the list to a pair of coaches long thought to be Auburn's top choices. Freeze's contract details are unclear. Auburn is expected to owe Liberty about $3 million in buyout money for hiring the coach. This is, boy, this is something. This is, I'm curious what you guys think. Jump in the comments. Oh, while you're here, go ahead and like the video for me, if you would so kindly. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I c consider me shocked. Absolutely shocked with what is going on. Um, uh, <laughs> it says the marriage with Auburn makes plenty of sense. One of Freeze's daughters, Jordan, attended Auburn and still lives there. Freeze and his wife, Jill, have long discussed eventually building a retirement home on a lake near Auburn. I, did anybody want this job? Was there nobody else that they could hire? I'm just, I am flabbergasted. I think that's a good word. I think that's a good word for it. Like, maybe you ran out of options. I had been hearing all kind of names. At this point, I can go on to tell you, I had, I had been hearing Dave Aranda, uh, but it, that Dave Aranda stuff might have actually been Jeff Grimes. Like, I, I had heard a lot of different names. Never would have imagined that it was Hugh Freeze after John Cohen. Like, never would have imagined that. But it does tell me that this was a booster hire. I mean, just dead center. Um, there's no other way to describe it. There's no other way to explain it. I mean, this is, and, and what's going to be funny is seeing John Cohen get up there and smile and shake this man's hand and all that. And again, let me, let me emphasize, I don't have a problem with Hugh Freeze. I think he's a fantastic football coach. I think he's a great football coach. The issue is all of the background stuff, everything that's happened at Liberty with him reaching out to the sexual assault victim, uh, everything that happened at Ole Miss, etc. The SEC had moved past Hugh Freeze. And now here we are because he beat Nick Saban twice. Obviously, he's got to be on the list. Just unreal. Just unreal. All right. We'll see what happens. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.